and I've had a few yeah, herby and grassy gins and I had sweet rums and now I'm back to whiskey but not scotch but with today we're going to Kentucky straight rye whiskey uh, from Knob Creek. Knob Creek is the premium brand of Jim Beam so um, I'm not quite sure but I think the mash bill is the same as Jim Beam rye and yeah the, the distillery produces one kind of spirit but the aging is very very important so the people from the Knob Creek brand team they can go around in the warehouses go to the most special floors fifth sixth floor in the warehouses Kentucky is the one where they have kind of the sweet spots um, I can show you a little bit of a, a diagram here uh, about the sweet spots and uh, yeah so they take the most yeah precious barrels out there they are the best ones taste them and make small batches out of that yeah because they have to uh, they want to go after a really good taste they have to have small batches so I think all of them up Creek are small batches maybe the nine, nine year old is not but uh, usually Knob Creek is small batches and yeah maturation is in the normal American oak new make oak charred barrels and yeah that's the the way they go with uh, with Knob Creek already had a bit of stuff in there um, the brand is uh, fairly new here it says since 1992 but that is already over 30 years old so it does have already a bit of heritage mm, but not compared to the Jim Beam distillery I think that was from 70s 50s 60s 70s something like that so yeah 300 years let's have a look let's see oh that is beautiful first whiff it's just very spicy and it has that rye spiciness that baking spiciness but also I always it always reminds me of um, yeah needle trees pine trees um, yeah and when you go through the forest and you have that raisin smell in your your nose and oh, that is beautiful not the raisin that you have with uh, some woodworkers but like the fresh ones when you walk through the woods in the morning and that gives you a raisin smell no, not raisin resin <laughs> that's how you pronounce it resin smell hmm. raisins hmm. no not in there <laughs> it does have something sweet in there so it feels a bit like vanilla caramel you feel the the oak coming through it has a a good amount of oak in it so the maturation is yeah it is pretty fast mm. Mm. Oh, even though it only has a content of of 51 percent rye it does have a lot of mm, a lot of spiciness yeah if you have like a bourbon you could make it in in the f terms of flavor you could easily make it into a, a flavorsome rye if you use 30 percent rye it, it feels like a rye whiskey because rye is just such a flavorsome spicy grain it's just it has just so much more in than in all the other grains you won't find any there are probably some very special south american or something grain but from the most common grains the rye is the spiciest of them all and it just feels incredible with 51 percent rye it's uh like the minimum rye that you can have in a rye whiskey um still very very spicy so this is the lightest rye that can be a rye but it still is very very spicy mm. 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 feels good for me it would not be something that I could enjoy by the side because it just it's demanding it has so much spice in it it's demanding your attention you couldn't, couldn't have that like during a, a four course meal in the evening uh, but you could have it afterwards and just have a good talk and have a little bit of attention to the rye some people out there who, who really love the rye that is a 
more easy ride you could have it on the side and it's very well made mm. i do like it yeah so in terms of of price it's around 30 to 40 and yeah this is a premium brand so you get really a premium whiskey and if you happen to live in the netherlands then have a look at whiskey.com uh, slash shop you will find the rye whiskey there and maybe that bottle is something for you yeah that was it thank you very much for watching and see you next time